yeah, I'm not going to really say much about what has happened over the last year. We all know we are at the call phase. We are feeling the pinch, but I think it is important uh, to look at how best we can continue uh, to do what we do best and to do what, uh, what we love. And I thought that um, coming into this workshop, you know, I, I, in my discussion with, with, with Hanley and the team, I really, really felt that it would be nice to share some of, of, of our uh, experience in terms of what we have been doing uh, as part of, of, of the plane taking off the recovery uh, here in Mpumalanga, which hasn't really, really been, been an easy thing to do, but I think we also realized that more than anything else, uh, we had to play a, a, a major role as, 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 as an association, but also as, as the private sector uh, to try and, 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 and really, really put so much uh, 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 efforts in, in the recovery process. And, and I think just quickly, I'll just go to, through some of the, the, the processes that we have done. You know, one of the processes that we basically started with was to try really to make uh, our tourism authority, the Mpumalanga Tourism uh, Parks and Tourism Authority, uh, realize that we are not competitors, you know, and that we are, we, are, we, are, we are partners and we serve the same interests. And, and I think that becomes very, very important because at what 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 my 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 experience, uh, having worked within the government sector, and also now looking from outside and looking at the government uh, uh, sector and government institution, is that there's a tendency for government uh, to want to behave like they are in business, you know, and therefore uh, um, they then want to compete. It even becomes worse when they have products that they own. Um, because then, then they forget the bigger picture and they think that uh, they are also product owners and therefore they can use uh, state resources uh, to, 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 to drive their, 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 their agenda. But that for us was, 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 was important that we establish this relationship so that we can then create a common platform where we can all sit together and plan. So the result of that was that we came up with what we call the, 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 the tourism think tank. So it is basically us uh, as, as SATSA and the local RTOs in the province, uh, the, the Mpumalanga Tourism and Parks Agency, which is the marketing arm of tourism for government and the department uh, 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 of, of tourism. So we created this tourism think tank, which again, we have established subcommittees, but currently the subcommittee that we are basically are focusing on is the, the, the marketing part of, of that. And through our lobby uh, also, we were able to raise about uh, 20 million rand uh, from the provincial government, which was uh, directed at giving relief uh, to, to SMMEs that are in the, in, in the sector. So that big, big relationship becomes very, very important and it needs to be strengthened everywhere because the, the problem that we have in government is that uh, there's a huge turnaround of people. Not long ago, uh, we, we had a new MEC that was in his positions for, for two years, just as when we were getting to make him understand uh, where we are going as tourism, about a month ago, he was changed. Now we've started from the beginning. Um, we're trying to get the, MEC, the new MEC and his team uh, to understand where we, we come from. So that colleagues becomes very, very important that we continue to work not only at provincial level, but also at local government level, because local government has got a huge role uh, to play. So what we are doing as part of the innovation ways of also looking at what could be the role of local government in terms of assisting SMMEs is that right now we are busy lobbying local government to say at least relieve guest houses and lodges, move them from commercial rates and move them to residential rates because there's no point now 
in charging commercial rates when these guest houses and, 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 and lodges are really not making money. We are making a bit of head, headways there because uh, the, those discussions are now going to be discussed at the various local councils. But also we're beginning to say that local government needs to set aside marketing budgets for to support local tourism organization. As we speak right now, a few of our municipalities have made allocations of over four or 500,000 rent to various local uh, 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 tourism organizations that will solely be used to begin to produce a whole lot of marketing material, online marketing, um, uh, websites uh, for, for, for those areas. So that relationship becomes important as part. So it, it forms part of the huge, you know, the, the, the bigger part of, of recovery. But from our side, as the private sector and also as individuals, is that on the on the on the marketing side, we really, really realize that we need to understand this domestic market. And looking at the behavior of this domestic market, we realized that the domestic market, especially in Mpumalanga, was driven largely by females. So we had about 55% of females between the ages of 18 to 35 driving our tourism a, a recovery. And therefore, also we looked at how do they get into the province. Most of them were self-drives, but we are now also seeing a new trend of people organizing themselves and hiring kumbis and, 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 and taxis uh, to travel around the, 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 the province. Actually, we realized that most of them are in need of being assisted to with information, where can they sleep? What, what, what is the cheaper place where they can sleep? Where, what can they do? And we realized that it was important that we, 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 we collaborate with tour operators and, and create packages uh, for, for this uh, uh, market. And, and that has helped us because when this market travel, it does not only come to your product, so it becomes very, very important that as, 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 as the sector, we need to be very, very active in promoting and marketing packages that are affordable and packages that, that, that involve quite a few other activities within them because this market is really not a, a, a survey in terms of going online and, and searching on what they can do and, and, and where they can sleep. So if you are able to make life easy for them and give them that total package where they can have one central point of payment and they can enjoy themselves, we definitely have seen those benefits um, uh, around, around, around around it. So what we also have done is that we looked at our roots. We've got various uh, roots in the province. So on my own, I basically took an initiative uh, of establishing what I call the panorama route. The panorama route is one of the, the most popular route in, 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 in Mpumalanga. Uh, you know, it has beautiful views where your goats window and my business, the Frasco Coach Lift and other businesses are located. It's a beautiful view. So I decided, no, I'm going to establish a Facebook uh, a, a, a group called the Panorama Route in Mpumalanga Tourism. As I speak now, that group has 35,000 members and it has been driving marketing and, and, and education information sharing um, for, 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 for our route. And we've seen the numbers rising because now more and more of the domestic market that really didn't know that there were so many activities in the area are now beginning to know and be opened up in terms of enjoying uh, their own areas. So I, I'm sitting here, I don't know uh, what is in the Eastern Cape except the popular spots. So it will be, or the Northern Cape, except the popular sports, except the, the big hole and, and some of this, the safari in the sand, in the Uppington part along those sides. But we don't know much about what is happening with the bear. So for us, we need really a comprehensive 
type of collaboration between uh, the Northern Cape uh, 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 Tourism Authority, the RTOs, and it is important, uh, members, that we make these RTOs, we make these LTOs active because they're at grassroots level, and then we bring in SASA to provide the direction in terms of what needs to be done. I'm very passionate about this. I can go on uh, the whole day, but I think what is more important that I will emphasize is that more than ever now, we really, really need to collaborate. Government needs to come on board. The private sector needs to come on board and all of us needs to collaborate and share the little rent that we all have with regards to marketing those areas. So for now, I'm going to stop there. Thank you, guys.